I from Mexico. Um, what's the one business tip that I like to make, give to change workers who are having or starting their own business? That's, a, that's the question that I, 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 I got. And, and my different, my answer is very, very different from most people. Uh, I've been training coaches and psychologists and other change workers, teachers around the world. Ooh, since the early, no, so sorry, not the early 90s, since 1997 to be precise. What is my business tip then? Well, here's the thing. It's about future pacing. Future pacing is an NLP term. Um, we typically use it for motivation and, and goal setting and things like that. And future pacing is placing your mind into the future and imagine what you will see, hear, and feel at that moment in time. And that lights up the neural pathways inside the brain, and and and, and so that is a, a, a really useful tool, right? But what I mean with future pacing in the business sense, in this case, as my main business tip, is that where are we right now? Well, so look at where we are. Okay, it's not about where you are; it's about where your clients are and your Instagram audience and your YouTube audience and where everybody is, okay? So, we are in March 2020 right now. Vaccination plans are rolling out all over the world. I predict that in the next few months or so, borders are opening up. People will start to be able to travel again. And I'm in Mexico right now awaiting my April training here uh, which is uh, Mexico is actually open for travel and we organized it uh, in Puerto Morelos which is a, a seaside village uh, near Cancun but uh, very void of a lot of tourists and hardly any COVID tropical paradise you get the idea so if you want to come as a, a 15 day training we have a, a, a still a room left for 600 bucks for 17 nights and there's our NLP training and uh, I to do Cancun from places like Miami are like cheap. So anyway, um, so what's it? What is it that you should focus on? Well, the thing is, is that we're gonna get more freedom in travel. Like I said, uh, we're gonna go back to our offices. Uh, we're gonna go back on vacation. We're going to have freedom again. Uh, but I think most of all, we're going to be in a place where we're picking up life again. And what I've noticed in, in my coaching business, rather than my NLP training business as well, I guess, is that people are like saying, well, my life stopped when the t pandemic started. And in that life stopping, also a lot of people experience a sense of like, who am I? What, what, what do, I, do I want to become? The, 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 the wheels stopped spinning as fast. The, the rat race stopped spinning as fast. So where you need to place your business in, in, is in terms of what is it that people want as soon, or need or desire or feel or want to become or, you know, when this pandemic is over. Because by the time that you have your business plan executed and your goals reached and your products made and your materials made and things like that, your, your, your Instagram marketing, your Facebook marketing, your workshops, um, your introductory workshops to introduce your work because don't forget people, clients you get through referral, but you're also much more likely to get a client in real life connections. And anyway, you need to step into what people want post pandemic, not necessarily keep focusing on what other people say you should want. And they want a bank on your fears and insecurities. So they start to want to sell you systems through which you get more clients and six-figure incomes. I have opinions about that. But in the end, guys, we're coaches, we're change workers. We want to change lives. And so our focus should be is how specifically are we going to change lives as soon as this pandemic starts up and people go back to the real world. That's my little take here. That's what I think what you should focus on. Plan on that, set your goals on that. And you know what, clients will come if you give results. They will. And the only way that you can get results if you prepare and offer a service that gives
gives people what they need, puts them in the emotional states that they are after. It's not about your insecurity and your fears. So that's my little business tip and uh, talk to you soon.